there is somebody in this room that is tired of being frustrated. Amen. And you're, get, you're, 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 you're at the place now. I'm tired of trying to assume what it is that God wanted. I'm going to spend the time where I need to spend time. I'm going to start seeking God in prayer and seeking the face of God because when I call on the Lord, He will let me know exactly what He wants. But God put that itch down on the inside of us that draws us to do His will. And I, I see people so frustrated. The person that they and, uh, drink alcohol, they drink alcohol because there's something on the inside of them that are lacking. It's not just what people call they just shameful. No, no. There's something on the inside of them that calls them to want that alcohol. And so they go after it thinking it's going to satisfy something on the inside. And after drinking alcohol for a while, and then, then they become alcoholic. The person that you drunk, they use the drug because on the inside that need to be satisfied. And so they use the drug. These people that they not men, they not think that if I can become a woman in the temple of God, he found the one thing that God was looking for. And I'm wondering now, have you found that thing that God wants you to do? You can't do what somebody else do. You got to do what God has called you to do. Right. There must be you got to satisfy the you. That itch is a message telegram from that longing you've been craving for, and then all this other stuff have not satisfied you. But when you get that longing of what God wants for you, He satisfies you. Amen. Yeah. That's it. And it was good. All this time organizing, getting a whole bunch of stuff, working all night long, and you're still in. Still not bringing forth anything, but you're working. But you're still not producing anything. And it does not count with Jesus, it is left. That nothing. Oh, Only when it pleases him is it all. And so God says, smart. And I've learned working smart. So I've learned long enough. He told me, don't be afraid of their face. And I just get nobody. Oh, right. 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 Me. I ain't getting the face. But I feel God to work to feel man. So the word of God to this church is you got to start working smart. You got to do what God wants you to do. Amen. Stop guarding it by its rules and revelation. Find right. out what it is that God has in store for you. Do you not know each idea how disadvantaged you are? Your disadvantage is given to you on purpose. I know. That doesn't matter just what I just got. Someone. Okay, your disadvantage is given to you on purpose. You talk about a bad wife. Your bad wife. But it was something he could make the right decision. Come on, Victor. I know. Oh, I think what it's all about. Abigail, a neighbor. A man, so she could make the right choice. Ah. So the stuff that God put in your life is for you to make the right choice. Yeah. Because ultimately, when the deeds get done, it's God that works in you, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. The only thing you are going to do is make the right choice. That's the only thing we ever do is make the right choice and show up. God is the one that's going through the work. So he, so neighbor, a bad husband, amen, uh, Lord Jesus, help me, uh, and advocate of the good wife. So sometimes you got to do, you got to jump on your mule, I say the back in time, and you got to get out of step, because some, and sometimes you got to get away from what you think was your, you got to know when to let the scaffolding go. Oh my God, because some are put in your life just for scaffolding. That is just to hold you up until you can get it all together. But once you get it together, you've got to let the scaffolding go. Because you don't get
nothing in my life no more. Mm -hmm. She went down and found her a David. Mm -hmm. Because as sure as there is a devil, there is a David. Mm -hmm. She finds David, mm -hmm. and David comes a husband unto her. Oh, suppose, oh. suppose oh. he had been a good man. Wow. Yeah. She never yeah. would have found David. Oh, right. have mercy. There are things that's going on in your life right now. Oh, some of y'all have had some bad men. Oh. I'm not saying the one you're with now is bad. So, they're not going to get you. Uh, some of y'all have had some bad women. <laughs> but if God didn't leave that in your life, some of us are in church right now. If you had been the best dancer, you wouldn't have been in church. <laughs> if you had had the right friends, you wouldn't have been in church. No, you wouldn't have. So the things that's in your life right now, you need to stop thanking God for it because the things in your life is actually pushing you to purpose. I want you to look behind and push. Push. Yeah, it's about making the right choice. Some of us have lost our job, but you never will get the good one except somebody finds you from the old one. Working all night long, and you're still in. Because you're not bringing forth anything. But you're working. But you're still not producing anything. And it does not count with Jesus, it is less than nothing. Only when it pleases Him is it all. And so God says, Smart. And I've learned working smart. So I've learned long enough. He told me, Don't be afraid of their face. And I ain't scared of nobody. Oh, right. Right. Good right. Me. I ain't scared of their face. But I feel God too much to be a man. So the word of God to this church is that you've got to start working smart. You've got to do what God wants you to do. Amen. Stop calling here by his rules and revelation. Right. Find out what it is that God has in store for you. Do you not know each hour how disadvantaged you are? Your disadvantage is given to you on purpose. I know. That's what I just got. Someone. Okay, what is it? It's given to you on purpose. Thank you. Come on, Victor. I know. Hallelujah. Oh. 